Uh, we weren't on paper supposed to do this. I was a guy who, I didn't even have a car. No, it's like, these guys are nuts, man. We were rated uh, best new brewery in the world, so we were like, all right, cheers, let's get drunk and <laughs> you know, have some fun. And the doors got blown off the place, you know. But it was a community-driven thing. I mean, the Kickstarter campaign that raised $43,000 in 30 days. The beer community stepped forward and they believed in it. John was an avid outdoorsman, backpacker, and he wanted to incorporate that into something that was community-driven and something that, that could encapsulate like that vision of, of the beauty of Arizona. I met the guy and was blown away by what he was doing. He took his wife's 401k, built a pilot system in his garage, showing me ideas that I don't know if anyone in the state had even scratched the surface of. You meet someone that passionate, it's hard to turn away and, and say no. I think we brewed 40 different beers in six months, which is kind of unheard of. You know, you open a brew pub, you would generally brew like maybe five, 10. Yeah, we opened with a sour beer day one. Uh, we're also doing a barley wine with local uh, wine grapes and a double IPA. People are like, where's your ember? And so I think we turned a lot of heads in just that mentality. So we're getting these emails, hey, congratulations guys, I would love your beer in Copenhagen. And we were kind of like, uh, we're a brew pub. I don't, I don't know if you know that. Like we're a small scale brew pub. I don't know how we would do that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go to Copenhagen. We, we're not even paying ourselves money at all. You have to say yes. When we're talking about foraging, can we go responsibly source some some ingredients and get some juniper berries? We take the inspiration of that area and then build, a, you know, build a beer and an idea around it. We're gonna be working with the Nature Conservancy and malting barley in Arizona. The Verde Valley River is the only wild river in Arizona. And during you know summer months, it's they're drawing too much water. If we put malted barley in the field, um, it will essentially save the river. We're gonna get hops grown and, and malt grown in this state, and we wanna be at the forefront of it, and we wanna have our hands on it. I don't wanna put beer in a package and like send it out to the gas station. You know, I, I want people to come here and experience what wilderness is. Everyone has that one moment, right, with, with a specific beer. And so for us, it's we're trying to create that, you know, come to Arizona Wilderness. And without that, you know, then we're a label on a shelf and oh, you got cool art. We're not uh, capitally driven guys. We really have like cut our lives down to give me a pillow. So that's that's us, man.